Welcome to Money in the Air, the music podcast about neighboring rights, the royalties you earn from the public performance of your recordings and the business of music in general. Brought to you by IFR, the International Association for Artists and Rights Holders. I'm Andrew, a royalty consultant helping artists to collect on their value. Hi, I'm Gina Deacon. I work for Absolute Rights Management and I work with record labels and artists to ensure we claim the royalty income due to them. I'm Stacey Haber and I'm from Inside Baseball Music Publishing. Hi. Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm the head of Neighboring Rights at Sony Music Publishing, and I'm one of the co-founders of IFR UK and IFR Education US. Hey, and welcome back to Money in the Air, the Neighboring Rights podcast brought to you by IFR, the International Association for Artists and Rights Holders. Today with me, we have Andrew, Naomi, and Gina, and we're going to talk about direct licensing with the broadcasters. Andrew, please start us off. One of the things that I just found out recently was that labels can do direct licensing with digital services like Pandora for their non-interactive service. So here in the States, what I thought before was that licensing was done at a statutory rate. So these rates were predetermined per stream on services like Pandora, but labels can enter direct deals, which augments the per stream per performance rate of non-interactive services like Pandora, which can be different than your statutory rate. And what I found out by looking through some statements is that it appears to be less than statutory, which was quite surprising to me. So that's something that I wanted to make our listeners aware of is that if you're signed to say a major record label, they can enter a direct deal with Pandora who then will pass on the featured artist share to sound exchange. And it appears to be less than that statutory rate. So that's something that our major artists, I would say, should look out for on their statements, their Sirius XM, for instance, that might be under statutory licensing between Sound Exchange and Sirius versus a Pandora, which will have a broken out rate by label, depending on what their licensing agreement is. And my fear so, there is that they, the labels are negotiating a higher interactive streaming rate for the interactive streaming side of Pandora and a lower non-interactive streaming rate with Pandora because of the higher royalty rate that ends up being paid out to future artists. So what statute are they relying on, for instance, with mechanical royalties, because when they were put into place, the publishers, the songwriters had all the power, and the publishers had their rights, so the labels had no leverage, so that's how they could negotiate a three-quarter rate. But now, I don't see what legislation they could rely on to negotiate a lower than statutory rate. I have to actually reach out to Pandora and and find out if they can release any specific details. But what I can just see within the statements is that it is variable and it's TBD if it's actually lower or if they're reporting overall streams on a recording, whether it's non-interactive and interactive. So the statutory rate between sound exchange is supposed to protect set a minimum, just as it's done on the publishing side. So which labels are going direct to Pandora? From what I've seen, it's major labels. Okay. And what legislatively gives them that power to circumvent a statutory rate? That's what I'm curious about is it's actually, there's FAQ on sound exchange and I actually spoke with a sound exchange rep last week. They pointed me to their FAQs about it. But yeah, I was surprised and it's specific to Pandora. And I'm not sure if there's other services or digital performance services that they can also do that with, but there is a FAQ section on direct licensing on sound exchange about it. That's very interesting. I wonder what they do in the case of a dual artist release where there are two labels involved and one is signed to sound exchange and the other isn't. It's whoever controls the master. So if there is two featured artists on the recording and it's agreed that one of the labels is officially releasing it and it's not a split copyright by any means, then that label will have the rate that impacts that specific recording. If a label chooses to go direct to Pandora, the royalties will be paid to the label rather than to sound exchange. Actually, it's a split between the two. 
I'm not sure if Sound Exchange is still receiving the label share or if they're receiving it directly. I'm assuming that the service is paying the label directly, but definitely for that featured artist share, it's flowing through Sound Exchange. So it would still go through Sound Exchange for the artist rather than all of it to the label directly. Correct. And not to confuse publishing, but that is typically what we see on that side too. So publishers can enter direct deals with a YouTube and that income will still flow through the writer account at the PRO. Interesting. And the label presumably negotiated the ability to lower the performer rate as well? Right. That's hideous. From what I can see, we can just say that it's variable. One would hope that if somebody is entering a direct deal and going above that statutory, that it's going to benefit, not have a negative impact. If you are negotiating the direct and you're the label, I can see that, especially as you say, when you look at the publishing parallels. But then surely the performer would be the sound exchange statutory rate. How that could be different makes no sense to me. Listeners, if you have answers to these questions, we want to hear from you. Info at ifr.co.uk. That's info at iafar.co.uk. We'll have to dig deeper and come back and do another episode on this. I want to know what the statute says, and I want to know who else it's being done with, and if it's being done in any other countries. So you have your homework, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking with us for another week. We will see you next week. Bye.